Now let's come to the part where we talk about the cantilever beam with a gradually varying load and we'll draw the SFD and BMD for such a configuration. So this is how it looks like. You have a cantilever beam AB and you have a gradually varying load which looks like this with the, the load at W at the point A and it goes to zero at point B. Again, uh, let us uh, consider a section XX at a distance X from point B. The entire span of the beam is capital L. If at point A, the load is W, at point B, the load is zero. What is the load at this section? So we have to find out load over here. So if you take these two triangles, this bigger triangle and this smaller triangle, they are both similar triangles. So by the rule of similarity, the load at xx, this is w into x upon l. So this load over here is wx by l. Okay. Now, what would be the total load between this section? So I am interested to find out this load. So this is the load, that is the area. This red colored area would be the total load for this much variation of load. So that would be, that would be total load this is equal to half into base into height, that is x. So this would be wx square by 2l. That's the total load. And this acts somewhere over here. This is the total load. Okay. Now if I have to find out the bending moment at this section, this would be, now this is acting at a distance of x by 3 from the section xx because it is a triangle. So this will be minus w x square by 2l into x by 3, this will be equal to minus x cube upon 6l. So this shows a cubic variation for the bending moment. So the, uh, you know, graph would be much steeper in its, uh, you know, slope as compared to the parabolic variation in the UDL case. So the bending moment at B would be 0 because X is 0. The bending moment at A would be minus W L square by 6. So if this is A, and this is B, let me just draw a cubic, so this is the cubic variation. So this length over here, this is minus WL square by 6. So this shows, this shows the bending moment diagram which is showing a cubic variation. All right. So now after this, let's move to the uh, shearing force variation. So the shearing force at xx, this is the load. So load is how much? Minus x square by 2L. So this shows a parabolic variation, isn't it? So shearing force at point B would be 0 because x is 0 and shearing force at A would be minus L upon 2. So this is point A and this is point B and this will be a parabolic curve slightly less. So this will be minus WL by 2. So this is the SFD which shows a parabolic variation of the shearing forces. So this is how easy it is. So this finishes the section on cantilever beams. Now let's move on to the section where we discuss the uniformly uh, or you can say the simply supported beams.